Number two, we are asked to find the grams of sodium in an 8.2 gram sample of sodium phosphate. In order to do this, we will need to go from the given grams of sodium phosphate, then we need to change this compound to sodium. Whenever we wanna change the compound or element, we must use a mole to mole ratio. So we will start with going from grams of sodium phosphate, then convert this to moles of sodium phosphate by using the molar mass of sodium phosphate as our first conversion factor. Next, to change sodium phosphate to moles of sodium, we will use a mole to mole ratio. And finally, to convert moles of sodium to grams of sodium, we will use the molar mass of sodium as our next conversion factor. Now that we have our plan, let's set this up. Starting with 8.2 grams of sodium phosphate, we want to convert this to moles of sodium phosphate. So we need to find the molar mass of sodium phosphate. Using my periodic table, I will find the molar mass of each element and multiply by any subscripts shown in the chemical formula, then add this all up. Note, all periodic tables have different masses. Some are rounded up well, others are not. Use the periodic table that your teacher gives you. So if your answer for this is slightly off, this is why. Sodium's mass is 22.99, and there is a three subscript on sodium. So we will multiply these together to get this. Next, we have one phosphorus, and its mass is this. Oxygen has a mass of 16, and there are four oxygens. So multiply 16 and four together to get this. Add all these numbers together to get the molar mass of the compound. We will use this as our conversion factor where the grams will go on bottom to cancel out with these units and the one mole will go on top. Now that we have the moles of sodium phosphate, we need to use a mole to mole ratio to get to moles of sodium. Since there is no balanced chemical equation given, we will use the subscripts in the chemical formula. There are three moles of Na for one mole of Na3PO4. Place the one mole of Na3PO4 on the bottom to cancel these units out and place the three moles of sodium on top. Next, we will use the molar mass of sodium, which is 22.99 grams per mole to get our grams of sodium. We'll place one mole of sodium here so the moles of sodium cancel out and place the grams of sodium on top. We know we can stop here because we have our desired unit of grams of sodium, which is what this question was asking for. Multiply all numbers in the numerator together, then divide by the denominator to get this. Round to the least number of sig figs, which is two, so our answer is this, 0.2.